there's not much known about this silo, only that they think that George Carey built it. When George Carey was here, there was a lot of money in the family and he made a lot of innovations and changes to buildings and additions. And on the census, it showed he had a mason here and two, two masons and a waller. So there's a good chance that it was built at the time of George Carey in about 1878. Um, the purpose of it was for putting corn in and um, to dry the corn, you would put a fire in this tower here, which is a separate chimney, and that, the heat from that would dry everything inside the silo. And it was an early form of um, a silo. And uh, you could keep all the stuff in here, and you'd, this was a doorway where you'd take the stuff out later on when you needed it. And uh, they had a, a, a mill inside the buildings, and they would turn it into flour. Yeah, so it was um, quite innovative. That you'll see some boxes up there. Um, it's not used by man anymore, but it is used by the birds. This is where the, some of the, um, the chuffs nest. And every year the chuffs come back here and they nest in this area. You can tell they're in there because when you walk past on the roadway here, they make an awful din and they're flying over your head and making a big shout, keep away, keep away.